And we're here at the Dog Daddy's meet and greet. I have been thinking all day what I would say in regards to yesterday's protest, protesting peacefully the Dog Daddy. And as much as I just want to put together a montage of all the great people that came out to support the peaceful protests and all the great trainers I got to meet and, and other qualified professionals in the industry of psychology, I'm really grateful to meet the people who supported the Dog Daddy. It was a group of people who exhibit the number one thing that needs to happen before change, and that was people seeking education, seeking a way to help and to be helped. And they are 100% justified because they found someone who was very good at showing them uh, instant gratification, instant change. And I don't blame them for not knowing what's going on in a dog when they are uh, in a case of learned helplessness or fight and then freeze. I don't expect them to know that. I'm just grateful to have listened to them because any client who comes to me and wants to talk about something is the first step in the door. And so I'm really grateful that I got to meet the Dog Daddy's followers. And there were some that came to me with an argument and I didn't get to speak a lot. But what I found is that they just wanted someone to listen. And I listened and I thanked them and I shook their hands and I learned something. And then there were those who seemed like they had a missing puzzle piece and they were interested in what my puzzle piece might be. And they listened and they watched and I got to work with dogs and I got to work with people and my goodness, that is my favorite thing in the world. That's why I do this, to help the people who help dogs. Now, there's definitely the trolls online and the people who get uh, emotionally invested and that's okay. We all get that way for something or another. And maybe they feel more secure behind the curtain of social media. But the people I saw there were regular people who wanted to learn. And so you, you know, my message to them and the dog daddy is that when you're ready, I'm ready. When you want to learn more, we have more to teach. And we're gonna openly give you that with no judgment. That's not our job. We're gonna be very supportive of anyone who wants to learn because that is the first step. And that's a hard step to take. I also wanna be grateful for being in the presence of the dog daddy. I didn't see someone who was larger than life. I very much saw someone who seemed insecure seeking acceptance and, and feeling loved. And so my message to the dog daddy is that you could have 20 times the following. You could have 20 times the support. You can change. You could be the next season Milan. He had a lot of change go on in the last couple of years, 20 some odd years, that have, has made him a better trainer and a better person to work with dogs. And he seems like he's a lot more genuinely happy than he was before. Now this is not the time and place to talk about balanced versus force-free and positive reinforcement only. This is a place where change, just like in dogs, happens in small steps. And so dog daddy, it's okay. You can change. I changed. I didn't start off 100% positive reinforcement. I used the ch and the correction. Yeah, I'm not proud of it, but I changed and I feel so much more confident in me. I don't need a following to feel confident. I help one dog at a time and hopefully when I reach out via social media, I can influence a little bit more. But I saw someone who was seeking some real genuine connection and I'm not sure if he's found that yet but I hope you do. So as sappy as it might sound, I'm grateful for being in the presence of everyone 